Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be ranking every new building block in the Caves and Cliffs update. It's not really out, but we have a ton of new blocks. I'm going to be ranking them as building blocks purely, so we're not going to care about how hard it is to obtain or anything like that. Just purely, is it good as a building block? Here you can see the tier list. We got S, A, B, C, D, S being perfection, D being don't even add this to the game please. Um, I'm going to be explaining how I'm ranking these blocks, so let's go. So the first thing we're going to look at is obviously how does this block look, is it nice, is it ugly, you get the point. Second off we have diversity, so can this be used in many situations or is this only for a very specific purpose. Then is it unique, meaning is it similar to different blocks that we already have or is it a completely different new item that we get to use. And lastly I will be ranking them in groups because if I rank every single block separately this video will literally drop by the time 1.18 is out. Now, let's get into it. Before the video starts, I just want to say a lot of people watching are not subscribed. If you could sub, it would help me out a ton. Um, other than that, enjoy the video. Here I'll be showing every group that I'm going to be ranking, starting with Deep Slate. Then coming up are the new ores, then the raw ore blocks, the amethysts, the new rocks, all the new copper items, the new nether blocks, the lush moss blocks, hanging roots, all the new candles, the Skulk Sensor, Tinted Glass, Powdered Snow, and the Light Block. So starting off with Deep Slate, we got a ton of cool variants of this block. It's really amazing. You can use it in so many different situations. It's versatile. As you can see, there are so many possible combinations for this block, so I'm really stoked about it. Um, I do have to say, we've already gotten a ton of dark colored blocks lately, but this is definitely a much cleaner looking block than, for example, the Polished Blackstone that we got. But overall, I really like the new Deep Slate. I'm gonna have to give it S. Up next are the ores. So basically, they just retextured the old ores and added a Deep Slate variant. I have to say, they made them look so much better, but how often do you find yourself using ores in building? Personally, I just use it for detailing and rocks, but other than that, I don't see how it's very useful, but it's definitely a nice addition. But as a building block, I'm gonna have to give it a C. Then up next we have raw ore, which is kind of three very weird looking blocks, but they can be put to great use. They have so much potential. Here you can see I use raw copper to make some type of Martian looking ore. There's so much potential in each of these blocks, you just have to find a way to use it. Here I use raw gold as a pool of coins in a giant treasure chest. It really looks nice and we don't have any other block that really has this type of texture that gives you this effect. So I thought it was perfect for this. And last, but definitely not least, we have Raw Iron. This block works great as a path block. I think it looks really nice in this little garden that I made. I think this block has so much potential, and I'll be using this in the future for sure. I give the Raw Ore blocks a B. Coming up next, we have Amethyst. This is a very new block to this game. We've never had anything like it. You can place it on walls, upside down, anything you want. As you can see here, I use it in the wall of a cliff and it looks very nice as decoration, but I don't see how it has a very wide range of uses, but where it is useful, it's extremely useful and it will make your build stand out. Uh, you can also see over here, I used it in this hallway as a lamp and I just think this block is pretty great. It's a very cool block, but it's only weakness is that it only works in very specific situations. I give Amethyst an A. Up next are the new rock types. Going from left to right we have calcite, tuff, and dripstone. And I really like how these blocks look. Over here you can see I used calcite as a path block and it looks super fancy. It's like a more smooth version of andesite. Uh, it could be used as marble. It's really nice. And then tuff can be used in rocks as you can see in this background over here. It really works well with stone and I'm super stoked about the dripstone too. You see it works very well with the whole image. You can just tell this block belongs in Minecraft. My only complaint is that we don't have more of it, like we don't have stairs or polished versions. If we had that, this block would be an S. I'm gonna have to give it A though. Up next is copper, and let me say, copper is unlike anything we've seen before. It can change into a different color, and the colors it has are similar to some older blocks, but it just has this metallic steampunk vibe that is just so unique. 
and you can make some really cool builds with this here I have some examples with the lightning rod uh, but the options are endless I'm just showing a tiny fraction and you can make some weird stuff with it too if you're into that anyway I really like copper it's unique it's cool and it's versatile I give copper an S up next we have smooth basalts this block looks pretty nice but it's not very new or game changing it would be nice if we had stairs or slabs that would be a whole different story but you know it's kind of similar to the things we have but it does look nice you can put it to good use but as of now it's just not that special i'm gonna have to give it a c and now we have the lush blocks i love these they look so good we have so many new plants you can see i've been using them everywhere in this video every single block that has to do with the lush caves i just love they're so good looking i'm gonna be using these in all of my builds they're so different from what we've gotten to i just love this s up next is roots and rooted dirt now this block is very interesting especially the roots you can use the rooted dirt in terraforming and paths it, it just looks very good but then the roots are kind of limited to how much you can use them but you can make some cool plant displays i guess but for me it's a b up next we have candles and let me just say i love them we get them in multiple colors you can place one or four you can turn them on or not there's so many options it's such a nice little detail but you can use it in so many builds and it's just going to make your builds look cozy here you can see some cool examples that i got off reddit of some cool uses you can put the torches to you can make a sword you can make cactus you can make all sorts of things it just goes to show how versatile this new block is uh, you've probably seen this one it being used as dynamite sticks. I just love these candles. And they just look good in houses as well. I love it. S. Up next we have the skulk sensor. And this block would be cool if we had anything that matched it. But it's just so different. Like we can't really do anything with it now. But in the trailer we saw a bunch of different skulk like blocks. And if they add those this could be a very interesting block. But for now it's a D. Tinted glass, I mean, it's cool, but we need a paint version because full glass blocks are just not it. Um, I used it on an FBI fan here. It's all right, I guess, but we need paints or else it will suck. I'm giving it a D. Powdered snow. It's basically snow, but it has a slightly different texture. Uh, figure out if you can even spot the difference here. I used snow and powdered snow. I guess if you're building something snowy, it's useful, but it's not that cool. C. Last but definitely not least, we have the light block. This block opens up so many doors. You can basically make fake lights. As you can see here, I made a corridor with amethyst lamps and the options are just endless. And this has been a huge problem for so long because we just didn't have very good options with light and now you can just make invisible light here you can see i put the light on the mushrooms to make kind of glowing mushrooms in this little lush cave it's just so awesome and then up next i made a cave with a bunch of crystals that give off light i mean for map making and just overall building this block is a huge deal i'm a huge fan of this we've been needing this for so long and now we finally have it and i'm very excited to use this block the light block gets a thick s all right so let's go over the results really quickly so first in s we have the deep slate blocks copper blocks lush blocks candles and the light block meaning that these blocks are a game changer they add something new and fresh to the game and that's why they have s then in a we have the amethysts and the new rocks these blocks are almost perfect but they have one slight imperfection that make them just not worthy of s but they're still very cool and very nice to have then in the b section we have the raw ore blocks and the rooted dirt these are blocks that are cool but they only have a few uses so you can't really use them widely such as the blocks in s and that's why they have a b then in c we have the retextured ores the nether blocks the tinted glass and the powdered snow these are blocks that I really can only think of one use for and that just makes them not very cool or nice or even necessary to have. Uh, yeah, 
that's why they're in C. And then in D, we just have the skulk sensor because what are we supposed to do with this block? Unless they add the, the block surrounding it, it can be useful because I know it blends in well with endstone. But for now, this block is straight poo poo. So yeah, D. If you're still watching, then props to you. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my list and let me know why. Also, if you're wondering why isn't this a skyblock video, I've kind of moved on from Skyblock, there's just not much content in there for me, but I've had a great time on there, and you can expect more videos like this regarding building and other things in Minecraft, so yeah, I hope you stick around for that, and I appreciate all of you, thank you for watching, have a good one.